Should you use donor eggs? Well, that's a personal question, a personal decision. Um, I can tell you why I decided to use donor eggs to conceive. Um, I wanted to be a mom. I wanted to be pregnant. I wanted to breastfeed. I wanted to have a baby. Um, and I had already exhausted every possible option with my own eggs, um, eight years of trying. And I was tired of losing. I was tired of the grief. I was tired of being sad um, and missing out on the dreams of being a mother. And I think now knowing um, what that true word means, motherhood, um, I know that it's a, it's a connection far beyond genetics. Um, it's an intention, it's a feeling. It's, you know, motherhood is a verb, right? Um, we mother our children. Um, you, you can't assume someone's a mother because of, of DNA. You have to earn that title. Um, and I earned that title. I, I earned the title of mom, mama, mommy, mother, long before my daughter was born. Um, I felt a connection to her the second that embryo was created. Um, before the embryo was even transferred onto my body, I felt a connection to her. And um, she is very much my soulmate. Um, it's really hard for me to talk about her without getting emotional <laughs> because I've never loved anything the way that I love her. And I'm so grateful that my eggs didn't work because it wouldn't be her. I know that sounds crazy to you um, because you, no one chooses this path, you know? Um, I think that it's a path that chooses you and thank God I was chosen um, to take this path to meet her. Um, I got to be pregnant. I got to feel the biological connection of growing her. Um, she, the minute she was born, she knew my voice. She knew who I was. She knew my smell. Um, do I have regrets? Absolutely not. Um, I, the only regret I have is that I didn't do this sooner. I, I wish that I had gotten to meet someone like me when I was considering this because at the time I had never even heard of donor eggs. I didn't know anyone who had considered it or tried it. Um, and I think if you can see it, you can be it. And, and that's why I speak out because I want people to know that it's possible to have the most incredible connection with your child. It's, it, it's possible to have an even stronger bond um, with a child who does not have your genetics. Um, this path will change you, but it will make you. And I've learned so much about life, about myself, about what family really means through this process. And my daughter now has the benefit of this version of me as her mom. Um, I got to be pregnant. I actually still have the, pe the pregnancy test, this old crusty peed on stick from my only, my only positive pregnancy in my whole life. And it was with her. And I'll always hold on to this. Donor eggs gave me that, gave me this, gave me my daughter. Um, anyone who, who knows us knows that she and I are fiercely bonded. Our attachment to each other is is fierce. <laughs> My husband gets quite jealous, um, even though he shares DNA with her and he actually, her and the two of them look very similar to each other. Um, but it doesn't matter to her. She, she doesn't care about DNA. Um, not yet anyway. And, you know, I do believe that, that we need to tell the story and she knows exactly how she was conceived. And we talk about her donor, um, there's no secrets in our family. Um, but I will tell you that whenever we talk about how she was made and how she got here, she always wants to hear about the time she was in my belly. Because to her, that's a connection to me. 
her favorite person. Um, so the moral of the story is, should you do it, that's up to you. Um, but I will tell you that it can be truly magical and it's a way to motherhood that is, it comes with so many benefits, so much beauty if you look for it. Um, there will be grief, there will be sadness, but there will be so much gratitude and you get to experience um, motherhood of, of giving birth, of, of being there the first breath they take, you know, um, and influence that child's life um, from the second they become life to the second they take their first breath to their first steps. And that's the stuff that's important. That's what matters. That's that's family, those connections. Um, so yeah, that's my advice, my perspective. I hope it helps.